Sirap Chilili never leaves the house without a bodyguard, and she never discloses her address. There's always a police presence when the Turkish-born campaigner makes a public appearance because she's made it her mission to fight against forced marriages. Many crimes take place in forced marriages. Lifelong rape, violence, deprivation of liberty, they're all violations of human rights. And she should know. During a vacation in Turkey, her parents married her to a man whom she didn't even know, let alone love. Chileli was 14. For seven years, she remained there against her will. When her parents allowed her to return to Germany, she managed to flee. Since then, she's been campaigning for women in similar predicaments. She welcomes the German government's plan to make forced marriage a crime punishable by up to five years in prison and to allow women taken abroad to return to Germany years later. A criminal penalty of this kind is a very important signal that this is condemned by society here. And it is also very important that the perpetrators can be prosecuted when forced marriages take place abroad. Sabatina James, as she now calls herself, ran away from her family at 17 to avoid a forced marriage to her cousin. She also received death threats because she wanted to convert to Christianity. Since then, the Pakistani-born woman has been living in a victim protection program in Germany. As a girl, if you know the government is on your side, it's a lot easier to go to the authorities and tell them you're a crime victim. But if you see your friends, Fatima and Aisha, didn't manage, that the police didn't take them seriously, then you don't dare to go to them either. James knows she's attractive and people listen to her. She enjoys the limelight. She admits that's a real headache for her bodyguards. But for her, it's more important that others learn from her experiences. So she's written a book about them. When we were in Pakistan, for instance, and I refused to marry, my mother stopped taking her blood pressure pills. She ended up in hospital. I was told that if my mother died, it would be my fault. For many women in this position, the Internet is the only connection with the outside world. James and Chileli also offer online support, including help in escaping, but few women take up that offer. First, I think it's important to have the necessary courage, the courage to break with your family. That's something you really have to live with forever, because generally the break is permanent. Many girls don't have that resolve. You grow up with very close family ties, and then you have to suddenly live without everything that you relied on in life. Experts estimate some 1,000 women each year in Germany become victims of forced marriages. Few manage to get away. Serap Chilili has so far helped almost 50 women to flee, but only 10 manage to escape for good. These families don't give up until they find their daughter and get her back. Even when a woman gets help from outside, runs away to a crisis center or a women's shelter. Because the head of the family has given his word to the bridegroom's family. If he breaks his word, that's a loss of honor. Forced marriages are not the norm in Germany. Most immigrants don't lock up their daughters or force them to marry. But with the legislation, Berlin wants to take a clear stand. Because migrants continue to come to Germany and Europe, they think that they can create their own laws here and establish their own culture, no matter how inhumane. You need to send a very clear signal to them and tell them that the German constitution applies here. Here, women are allowed to choose whom they marry. The draft legislation is a real ray of light, but Sabatina James realizes the fight against forced marriage is far from over, and she knows she remains under threat from her own family.